This is a $120 gaming PC I got from Amazon and we're going to be optimizing it until we reach max FPS. The specs that are inside of this PC are not bad at all for the price as we have an Nvidia GT 1030 for our graphics card and an i5 6500 for its CPU. As well we are running on Windows 11 and 16 gigabytes of RAM so it really isn't terrible for $120. It also comes with some RGB on the front panel for some aesthetics which I honestly think is cool. Before our optimizations, we are getting around 40 to 60 FPS in Fortnite, which is still playable, but we're trying to get the most performance we can out of this PC. All right, so we first will start with some Windows optimizations as they will help the PC run smoother and prioritize Fortnite over other apps. So let's just head over to the settings really quickly and then let's search up game bar settings. And we want to make sure that game bar is turned off as well. Since it's right beside it, we can just head over to the graphic settings and we're going to turn on optimizations for windowed games to to reduce latency and right under that we have advanced graphic settings and we want to make sure that hardware accelerated gpu scheduling is turned on to make sure that we can get the most performance we can on fortnite as well if we scroll down and if you guys see fortnite right here just click on it make sure gpu preference is set on high performance and then your nvidia or radeon gpu if you have one and just click that and then make sure optimizations for windowed games is turned on all right, next up, let's just head over to the search bar and search up game mode settings and make sure game mode is turned on. So Windows will optimize your PC and make sure things in the background aren't running. As well, another thing to make sure is that you are on the highest refresh rate available. So just head over to your display settings, then head over to advanced display and just make sure that you have the monitor that you want and make sure that the refresh rate is set to the highest available. So for me, that's 180 Hertz. So just click on that. And yeah. Are you looking for some high quality headphones that won't break the bank? Well, this right here is the Kiwi Ears Aventus Bluetooth gaming headphones. And these are the best headphones I've ever used. I've been using these headphones for about a month now, and it's definitely surpassed my expectations. When opening the box, you are greeted with amazing packaging and a clean box design. You will also receive a headphone case, which feels high quality and multiple wires for charging, wire mode, and multi-connection. These headphones are very durable and are flexible as you can rotate and and fold them in all directions and it is also equipped with nice rgb lights for aesthetics personally my favorite feature is the active noise cancellation feature because of how good it can suppress background noise and focus on the sound coming from the headphone battery life is also amazing as it can last 82 hours with active noise cancellation off i personally only had to charge it like twice which is honestly insane as i've been using them for a while now if you are interested in the kiwi ears aventus it will be linked down in the description and thank you Kiwi Ears for sponsoring this video. And lastly, for our window settings, we're just gonna make sure we have ultimate performance enabled. So we're just gonna type in power plan. Then this will pop up edit power plan. We just wanna click on that. Then once we're here, click on the power options button on the top. I suggest having on high performance, but if you do want the most performance, I really do suggest turning it to ultimate performance. And I will show you guys how to do that right now. What you guys want to do is head over to the window search bar, type in CMD, then make sure you run it as an administrator. Click yes. And you guys want to paste this script I put in the description. And once you paste it, click enter. And then ultimate performance should be enabled. And you guys can just exit out. And then when you head back to power options, you should see the option for ultimate performance. And just make sure that is enabled. And then you guys have enabled ultimate performance. Next, we have our Epic Game settings to make sure that we don't have any unnecessary things that are ruining our FPS. Open the Epic Games app, then head over to Library, and then scroll down until you see Fortnite. And once you see it, just click on the three dots right here then head over to options and then you will be shown with a lot of options to uncheck or check and it's really simple all we want to do is make sure that pre-download stream assets is checked it is nine gigabytes but it will make sure that every time you load up fortnite things are already loaded in and if you guys have this option turned off while you're playing fortnite things are going to start to load and it will cause a lot of delay and fps drop so make sure this is checked as well if you don't plan on using directx 12 i suggest having high resolution textures turned off as you will save 24 gigabytes and performance mode is always the best option if you want the best performance and highest fps so once you're done with that hit apply and then you should be good to go now this will only work if you have an nvidia gpu and that's changing the nvidia control panel and you can do this really easily by just right clicking on your desktop click show more options and then head over to the nvidia control panel if you don't see this option you can download it from the from the microsoft store but just make sure you have an nvidia gpu or else this will not work 
but once we're here we're going to start off with the first tab right here adjust image settings or preview and just make sure use the advanced 3d image settings is enabled and once you've done that just head over to take me there and then here we have a lot of settings that we want to change so the first setting we're going to want to change is scroll down to the low latency mode and we just want to make sure that this is set to ultra for some people on might be better if you are on a very low end pc i suggest turning this to ultra for the best performance possible going down a bit you will see power management mode i suggest you guys turn this to prefer maximum performance because in the name it already says it will give you the max performance possible and under that you will see preferred refresh rate make sure that is set to highest available and last but not least you will see texture filtering quality and the best option is set is to set it for high performance after that, just hit apply on the bottom right and then wait for the settings to apply. Lastly, for our final optimization, we're going to be downloading this single program that I think will make the most difference in our FPS and it is 100% free and safe. All right, so the first thing you guys are going to want to do is head over to the link in the description and it's a link to a website where you guys can download the program Intelligent Standby List Cleaner, ISLC for short. And what it basically does is while you're playing, it will focus the memory on your computer, specifically the game you're playing, and it will minimize other programs that are running in the back. So when you are here, just click download. ISLC and then just wait for it to download. Once it's been downloaded, just click the open button. You guys want to click on the three dots right here, head over and click on desktop, click OK, and then click extract. And then if you look, a folder will be placed on your desktop for ISLC. You want to double click on it. And then the program up here, you guys are just going to want to right click, run as administrator, then click yes. All right, once the program is here, you guys are going to want to make sure that this, that this box is set to 1024. And then right under that, you will see free memory is lower than, and you want to set this to half total system memory. So for me, that's 16,000. So half of that would be around 8,000. And then once you're done with that, head over to the ISLC polling rate. And I suggest setting this to 1,000 for low end to medium end PCs and 500 if you're on a high end PC. Check the enable custom timer resolution. You wanna make sure wanted timer resolution is set to 0 0.5. And then once you're done with that, hit start, then hit purge standby list, and then you can minimize it and then it will be running in the background. All right, now that we are done with all the optimizations, we're just gonna load up Fortnite and then we're gonna see how much FPS we gained and we're gonna see the max FPS we got. And after all our optimizations, as you can see guys, we're getting like a range from like 130 to like 100, 200 even actually, which is honestly insane. But yeah, as I'm free building, there are some FPS drops. We're getting like 90 FPS to like 160, which isn't really bad at all, especially considering this PC is like $100. All right, so we just loaded in right now and we are getting around like 70 to like 90 FPS. We're just gonna land and then we're gonna try and get as many kills as we can and just really test the performance of this PC. There are a little bit of stutters as you guys can see. All right, we got one kill. But yeah, now that we've actually like loaded in and like most of the things have loaded in, we are reaching like 100 FPS. That's pretty good though. But yeah, PCs nowadays, like if you're able to optimize your PC, you don't have to be spending that much on an expensive one because like we're getting kind of close to fps like we got ps5 except that's more stable and this one is pretty glitchy oh we just 200 pumped him right in his face bro. but it is so glitchy like if i missed that i would have died right there i'm not a big fan of these glitches and these stutters oh there's somebody right here 30 40 30 oh these are one hp bro. there we go another dude i feel like i'm versing ais right now bro. oh snap all right, there we go, 200 right to the dome. This SMG is so fire, bro. There we go. Oh, he had a gold thunder, no way. Holy, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, can we make it a clean hop in? 50, full box. Oh, there we go. We have a lot of people around. Let's try and kill both of them. Oh, snap. Yo, yeah, one HP, bro. Oh no, ah, grapple. Nice. Yo, this is so scuffed. Oh, there's somebody right under me, no way. If we lose this, bro, 40, Mongo Classic. There we go. He's fully dead. Oh my 
goodness. Uh, he just got clapped. He had a purple pump. This guy had a purple pump. One, two, three. Take the wall. Mongo Classic, 100. Oh, snap. I'm just going to jump in. There we go. Ooh, yeah. We have nine kills. Nine people left. This is perfect, bro. Oh, I just got 200 pump. No way. All right, that's going to be the end of this video. It's honestly crazy how much FPS we got from this $100 PC from Amazon. And if you guys did enjoy this type of video, please leave a like and subscribe. And comment down any other videos I should make. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.